If the earth could speak, would it whisper or scream? As forests fall silent and the oceans rise in rage, our planet is sending signals. But are we listening or are we just too busy scrolling? My name is Geisha Hayal Horamuxin from Universitas Shakwala, and here I'm going to address the urgent problems that our world faces: Climate change. When we talk about that, our minds often turn into a rising sea levels, extreme weather, or deforestation. All of these are critical issues, and we must continue addressing them. But today, allow me to offer a different perspective, one that is often overlooked, yet increasingly relevant in our modern lives. Something else is heating the planet. I'm talking about the digital world, the one that we carry in our pockets, scroll through every day, your phone, my laptop, and our favorite streaming apps. The internet is not as invisible as we think they are. Every photo we uploaded, every video we stream, every AI we chat with, all of that uses energy, a lot of it. And most of that energy still comes from fossil fuels that create greenhouse emissions, or when gases trapped in the surface of the earth and heating the planet. You may be surprised to learn that the internet and the technology that powers it now produce nearly 4% of global greenhouse gas emission. That is more than an entire airline industry. In fact, if the internet were a country, it would be the fourth largest polluter in the world. Which brings me to a solution that is often overlooked but incredibly powerful. Digital sustainability. What if we could take a climate actions, not just what we drive or what we eat, but how we scroll? Let's break this down. Every spam emails you ignore, it still takes energy to store and send. Every unused files in the clouds, it lives in a data center running 24-7. Autoplaying videos, massive carbon cost. Now imagine millions of us deleting 100 emails, turning off autoplays, and cleaning up our clouds, and also switching up to more eco-friendly apps or search engines. It seems small, right? But if 1 million people delete just 50 old emails, it saves the same carbon dioxide as planting 10,000 trees. That is digital power. This is the kind of solution we love. We're a lot online anyway, why not make it count? It's smart, creative, and made for our generations. Now, how does this connect to SDGs 13, Climate Action? SDGs 13 calls us to take urgent action to combat climate change and its impact. And this, this is urgent and it is personal because if we reduce digital waste, we reduce real carbon emission. It also makes climate action accessible for everyone because not everyone can afford solar panels, not everyone can join a summit climate change summit, but anyone with a smartphone can clean their digital footprint, support green tech, and start a conversation that is matter. So here's the challenge I leave you with. Do among the eco-cleaning of your inbox, cloud, and storage. Second, choose sustainable tech tools like low energy browsers or data light apps. And third, spread the word. Climate action is not just physical, it's digital too. We say we want to change. This is how we start, by looking at our own habits, then turning them into hope. Let's not just go green. Let's grow green, dream smart, and delete every carbon with every click. Let us be the generation that thinks beyond the obvious, the generation that dares to imagine new solution, the generation that understands that real change does not always require grand gesture. Sometimes it starts with a simple click. Thank you.